Should I do some beatbox? I think I should provide some respite from it by going bug roll I started at the wrong key because I can't do the bug roll that's another thing I had to stop doing actually that noise I ended up with um, throat nodules from doing that at every fucking show like every night I was going around and then I was drinking whiskey and smoking and I went to the doctor and I was like, I was like, where's my voice? And he was like, cause you're a fucking idiot and you keep going mm, and then drinking and smoking whiskey, drink, drink, drinking marijuana and smoking whiskey. And he was like, um, don't do that anymore. Don't do any of those things. And I was like, oh, but those are my favorite things to do. Um, but I stopped, uh, I stopped going mm, and that was actually part of the reason why I started getting even deeper into technology and software is cause I was like, well, I could only beatbox for so long before I just get throat nodules. So the bottleneck and control of a looper is, is how many fingers you have, it's how much brain bandwidth you have, and it's how much musical bandwidth you have. So what I have here is about as optimized as you can get a live system for live performance. Um, and it's always being optimized further incrementally. But to release it as a product, I don't think the world is ready because it would have to be hardware. Um, or it would have to be an iPad app. Let me know. Listen, if people start contacting me to tell me that they really want my system made as a product, say as an iPad app or as a physical product, tell me, bug me about it. Tell me what you'd be willing to pay for it. And I'll let you know. In the meantime, you know, I'm sort of working with companies that I won't name to help them define what is, I mean, some of you I've already spoken to about it. If there are any beatboxers watching, you may have uh, been in contact with me uh, because there are companies who are very interested in, um, in continuing to be the leading brand in looping. Um, but the less I say about that, the better, I think, but suffice it to say, I'm on it. I'm trying to increase the, uh, the badness of, of, of looping in the universe. So this is one of the things that I'm about to offer on my Kickstarter when it launches. One of the higher tiers is going to be uh, a, a sort of tech focused tier. So if you want to pay for that privilege, you can get access to lots of nerdy as fuck breakdowns of what my gear is, how it works, how I put it together, the philosophy behind it, the ergonomics behind it, the UI design, the systems design under the hood. Um, I'll be able to offer advice for you specifically on how you can build your own systems. Um, but this is all going to be worked into this Kickstarter. As I say, you can find it uh, if you look for it. Sorry, I meant to say Patreon, not Kickstarter. Thank you. Fucking yes, I did. What the fuck am I talking about, Kickstarter? I'm just talking shit. I mean, I'm not drunk. You're drunk. Your mum's drunk. What? Yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, on the Patreon, I should say. Uh, I will be... Yes, on the tiers on this Patreon that I'm about to launch. There will be... there. Yeah, there's a specific tier for people who are interested in the tech side of what I do. I'm still learning coding Lima. Yeah, it's a shame about Lima. Lima is what I use here um, when I'm doing live streams and stuff, when I'm doing fucking anything. Uh, it's the only product that exists that allows you to basically sort of graphically and using scripting design your own user interfaces. There's nothing else that allows you to do that. There are some, but they're nowhere near as deep. The scripting isn't as deep. You can't do conditionals. You can't create your own variables. Um, yeah, so if you, someone said Objective-C, yeah, I mean, fucking, if you want to code in Objective-C, this is getting really nerdy now, so fucking, here we go. If you want to code in Objective-C, obviously you can. Um, there are other interface builders that you could use, but then the problem is piping MIDI in and out, and then you need to write your own code for that. Lima does all that for you. It's not perfect, but it's the only thing that does it. But it's effectively abandonware. Yes, you could use Max MSP. They do have a product. I can see I'm dropping users as I'm talking this nerdy, but fucking whatever, started it. Yeah, um, if you use Max MSP, there is, you, you can make your own interfaces. Uh, did I learn to code for, well, I can't really code. I can do a bit of scripting. 
and um, I suppose scripting is coding, but it's kind of kind of a play school version, you know. I'm not very good with data structures and stuff like that. I would be if I really needed to, but thankfully, I don't need to think too much about it. Uh, bring on the geek stuff, coder for hire. Who is you are, Retro Van Dan? Safe. Lua. Um, Lua, yes. Is scripting is coding without compiling? Well, mm, kind of. I use C++ like a true intellectual. Yes, well done, and well you should. Well, my Beardytron of old that I got rid of because it was too hard to maintain, um, that was coded from the ground up in C++. Um, but the trouble was that I couldn't code it, so I had to get other people to do it for me. Scripting tends to be much more abstract. It's a higher level, um, which doesn't mean it's smarter, it just means it's, um, for those who don't know, Higher level encoding actually means dumber. It means you're giving, uh, you're you're talking a language closer to English, and the lower you go in these coding strata, the um, the the more like machine code it gets. Mainly, the difference between scripts and programs is uh, <laughs> I can't read what anyone's saying. My brain melted. You make it, I'll buy it. Fucking all right. Yeah, look, I'll look into it. I've looked into it several times. You know, making the Beardytron into a product, but it just ne it's never seemed like a good use of my time. Because, like I say, the problem is controlling it. Okay, so if you want to build a looper, so I use this thing called Augustus Loop, so big shout out to expert sleepers who these days mainly make amazing um, hardware for Eurorack and other such modular things. And uh, a while back, they were very focused on making VSTs and they made some VSTs that are unrivaled in terms of their ability to do live sampling. Because um, believe me, like, even if I even if I talked about the tech side of what I do, <laughs> even if I talk about the tech side of what I do and what I've made and what I use and how I use it for an hour, I would not even be a fucking hundredth of the way through. And I'm not exaggerating there. Th th there's at least five days worth, five solid days worth of stuff that I can tell you about the way that this thing works i mean like just to give you some idea because I, I i've never gone into this ever but essentially that's a looper 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 on this one on this one this is my input stuff um these are not functional yet but i'm going to be making them work soon that's the pitch shift stuff. These are all presets. Um, it kind of set, you can see what it all does. Um, but believe me, if I started to talk about it, I would fucking, I just, yeah. There's, there's so much to it, you know? Like, I mean, how, how, to, how to explain? When you're making a system this complicated, you have to fucking start simple and build out and one tiny change please please drum and bass okay let me just finish this sentence let me finish um yeah like one tiny change to functionality can just change everything about how you're able to work is it a one-way proposition can you go back to simpler setup now um can i go back to a simpler setup why would i I will do more streams where I explain how my tech works, but I'm not going to give that away for free for two reasons. Firstly, I'm not going to fill the internet with it because most people wouldn't give a flying fuck uh, and I'm not going to waste their time with it. So if you really, really care, um, I will send a link out to my Patreon when it launches probably tomorrow. Uh, and there is a tier specifically um, designed for people who really want to know how this works so you can emulate it yourself or maybe you're just fascinated by it. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about your, your decision a few months ago to delete all your pre-made loops and how that has affected things lately? Nah, see, now I'm left in a moral quandary because someone has just literally donated me money so that I will talk about the thing they want me to talk about, although that was what I was going to guard. Okay, fine. Two years ago, I decided that my C++ rig, which I'd had coded for me, was not suited to task because it couldn't iterate. Um, that is to say, I couldn't change it incrementally 
as and when I needed. And therefore I decided that it was worth losing some functionality in order to gain the ability to iterate. And if that's too nerdy, don't worry, I'm gonna stop talking about that now and I'll carry on that conversation on my Patreon, specifically on the tier designed for those who really give a fuck about the nerdy shit. Because like I say, I don't want to populate the internet with loads and loads and loads of nerdy shit. I am a massive nerd and I live for this shit, but there's no reason why I should do lots and lots and lots of, 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 of nerdiness when I know the internet doesn't really care. But yeah, when you see my uh, Patreon being launched, please do give it a look and consider helping me stay alive. I mean, literally earning money because the live shows have evaporated for every artist in the fucking world. Fucking nuts. So yeah, my other point is, please consider supporting any artist that you like. As in, if there's any artist that you enjoy the work of, fucking see if there are ways of supporting them because they're all hurting right now. And I know that it's not just music artists. It's anyone in events, anyone with the premises and governments around the world are giving loans and grants and things like that. But why not? Um, what do I think of Inky? All right, so yeah, Inky's incredible. Um, Saro is a fucking lovely guy and a very talented musician. Um, and this gets overlooked, actually. Um, so Saro, if you don't know, he changed the game in the RC505 uh, sort of looping game in the Grand Beatbox Battle, which is run by Swiss Beatbox. And in 2017, he did the most amazing looping that anyone has ever done with an RC505. An RC505 is a box that I used to use. It's fucking, it's over here. Where is it? Somewhere here, there. That's the RC505. If you've been to see me, you've, you've, um, you've, you've, you've seen me using it. And um, anyway, Saro changed the game in terms of how you can use that thing. And he, he just fucking switched it up. And then since then, he having leveled up the game that much, um, the 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 loop station battle part of the GBB was just fucking next level. So Saro is a god amongst men when it comes to looping with the uh, RC505. And he's a thoroughly nice bloke. But he is, um, he was a musician beforehand. And I think that's important. So if you want to get into looping and stuff, um, remember that looping isn't a thing on its own. You've got to fucking learn music theory and you got to try and learn to sing and you've got to still sing in tune and all this kind of shit. Um, anyway, this probably is stuff that I should save for Patreon stuff if you want like lessons and shit. Have I actually learned music? I love that. It's kind of an insult. <laughs> <laughs> what? You formally learn? You have formal training? But you sound like shit, man. Yeah, I had formal training. Uh, I never completed it though. I quite like to. I got to like grade five and six on piano and viola, I think, and I learned guitar and I sort of, you know, drums and bass and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I never learned a horn instrument. I quite like to. There's just no time now because I've got children and they are time vampires. Um, would I do a masterclass if I was paid enough? Yeah, sure. Well, that's the thing. So if you go on my Patreon, which is going to launch in the next few days, uh, there is a tier specifically for people who are technically minded and want sort of tuition masterclass kind of things that's going to be available. Um, the, the lowest tier uh, is just for people who just want to get access to lots of stuff that is in my archives and lots of stuff that uh, I end up making but I don't normally put out and lots of stuff which I... Uh, which I will be doing over the next year. Um, and you also just get to know that you're kind of helping me survive, which is nice. But yeah, that'll be launching in the next few days. Are your loopers following a clock or free? Thank you for your money and your question. Uh, my loopers all clock off of Ableton. <laughs> There's your answer. Uh, he's not going anywhere. There's a bloody plague on. That's right. I, it's funny. I sort of quite want to end the stream, but there are still people talking and I quite want to talk to you all. Uh, it's nice to have the company, considering that, like, we're locked in our fucking houses. What the fuck? The world is locked in their houses, motherfucker. The world is locked in their houses. If you had gone back 
in time to three weeks prior to now and said, the whole world is locked in their houses. <laughs> You'd have punched yourself straight in the face and said, get the fuck out of my house, you strange doppelganger freak. Um, it's fine. You need sleep. I do need sleep because, like I say, I need to keep myself fighting fit. Otherwise, when Corona comes calling, it will find me stricken with exhaustion and yeah, low resistivity to pathogens. Thank you for your money just then. Um, much as I would love to stay on the stream chatting to you all and taking all your money, uh, which certainly is beneficial to me, uh, it is heartening to speak to you all. I am going to go to bed now. And tomorrow I'll do a fucking live stream with some actual fucking music in it. Thank you and good night. Please take care and wash your fucking hands and don't lick people. Good night.